Record now. All right. I am Josh Relasic. I'm here with Jonathan and Adriana Prescott. How are you doing today? We're doing fantastic. Yes. How are you? I'm doing pretty nanny myself. And here we are here to talk today about this fantastic new little book. Well, it's not so little, is it? It is your <laughs> book, co-authored called Kids Don't Need School, a radical new homeschooling plan to teach anything, promote independent learning, and prepare children for an uncertain future. Stoked to talk to you ab about this right now. And I think the cover is absolutely fantastic because it uh, talks it, it talks with a, an instant visual uh, demonstration what the book is about. It's it's unmissable. So can you can you explain? And I think the subtitle does a good job of this. But what is the what is the value of the book to a homeschooling family or to an aspiring homeschooling family? Hey, Adriana. Well, it's really not your not, not your homeschool book that you would find at the library or any of the stores. It's not that you know conventional typical book that you would find. It's it's completely absolutely different. It's actually guided towards um, changing the mindset of people of what they think about education and what they right. and how to basically treat and raise their children so that they can become our future right so we're, we're seeing this problem in society where the quality is not that great we're seeing problems where uh, parents and children are not as united and families are not as strong as as they should be and we are putting their, the kids into these schools, these the institutions to be away from parents. And, and we're seeing some problems with that, uh, with that dynamic in the relationship. We're seeing issues with how children are learning their knowledge, what, they, what they're getting out of those institutions right at a high school and even right at a university. And, and so some intrepid uh, uh, parents, they want to homeschool. And so, but they're bringing, they're bringing in some of the, some of the issues of regular school into the home. And so what we do is we deconstruct the, the system of education uh, according to their, their own children's planes of development. And uh, we teach parents how to be experts in, in education and also um, how to uh, analyze how their children are learning and provide them with uh, the tools they need for an un uncertain future. And so what, what happened recently is, of course, due to the, the pandemic, um, parents are finally got their kids at home and they're seeing there's some issues with that, <laughs> with not only what they're learning, but also their emotional and social um, you know, aspect of where they're, they're in and they're not where they're supposed to be. So that kind of surprised parents. And as they're entertaining the idea of homeschooling, um, homeschoolers are starting to get a, a backlash from teachers and, 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 you know, boards of education saying parents are not qualified. Parents can't be teaching. And, and so we're, we're saying, why not? We're, you know, parents are the, the right. ones that know their kids best. And, and the question that, that parents need to ask is why did we outsource that parenting and learning to other people? Why didn't we not leave it at home where it should be? Right. And so as we're seeing these problems with society, we're saying, let's bring family back together. Let's, let's teach parents how to deal with having their kids at home, how to educate them, because they think that school, the way the schools teach education is the way to, the way to go, but that's not really <laughs> optimal. Well, what are the approaches that we use? Because we're, we're both engineers. And so we, we deconstruct uh, just like an engineer would and 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 assist the, and bring together a system of of education and this is why it's a new homeschool plan now <clears throat> i've had i've had some comments about well what about unschooling and stuff like this we cover all that but we, we don't we don't promote necessarily a particular style because that's up to the parents to uh, to decide what style that their children learn best at what we do is we do something completely different and we provide them with all the background information, all the tools that they need to look at motivation, to look at um, <clears throat> how uh, children learn and also the planes of development uh, through the different stages on how children learn. And with that, those tools, actual real tools, not just tips and tricks, we, we uh, empower parents to to do homeschooling properly 
And, that, and those are the tools that is going to allow a parent to to basically mold something that is unique to their child, not not the mold that schools use as a mold that everyone should fit in. It's, it's more like you creating your own mold for your child that they fit in naturally. And that they want to be in. Exactly. It's, it's you're, you're giving them the ultimate freedom to learn pretty much anything in their own terms and basically prepare them for that uncertain future because we don't we we know all the things that are coming and maybe possibility of things that are coming our way and kids who are used to learning with that ultimate freedom can face those kind of future better right and all of this is is let's say is uh, is compacted into the title and into the into the subtitle and of course kids don't need school is is quite fun and is quite is quite catchy uh, because what the implication of that is given how the how the book opens the implication is kids don't need the public school model of schooling which is the prussian model of education right. designed to create a uh, low intelligence low agency assembly line workers and cannon fodder of old europe effectively yes. not empowered intelligent successful individuals here in the west in our information age and beyond so what you're saying is if you homeschool the way that public schools do it that is an inferior model of education so what that looks like is frankly how most homeschoolers do it yikes the way that most homeschoolers do it, I was homeschooled myself and we're homeschooling our own children. Mm -hmm. You have offered, you know, fantastic uh, input and, and advice on on that. And, you know, my kids are really little, so their schooling is more like, you know, 20 minutes a day yes, <laughs> right? Exactly. Sort, sort of education because of their development right now. Yes. But your innovation on homeschooling is to say grades, rubrics, tests, those don't actually advance the child in their areas of interest, their areas of natural ability, and it doesn't bring them from beginner to intermediate to mastery. Mm -hmm. And if you want your child to have mastery over skills, be those soft skills that what such as such as self confidence or or self discipline or self generated initiative, self teaching, self self learning. If you want those children to have mastery, because in our information age the most important skill is building new skills. The best thing to learn is how to learn. Uh, then having kids take an English test or a math test, you know, grade two or grade five level, it, it's just uh, it's just not the best way anymore. Um, what's best is to have almost like a an ancient private tutor sort of a relationship with your child is what we was you, know, you mean by right. kids don't need school and, and this is and that's actually the heart of our system is is the fact that we build the parent child relationship mm -hmm. okay that is the most important thing because when the a parent child relationship is strong and that bond is strong then the children want to be around you they want to learn from you they they want to mimic what you do and and if you're uh, and, and it makes us even better parents when we know that our children will will mimic us and will bond with us instead of bonding necessarily with their peers. Now, we're not saying, that, you know, don't have have friends. Uh, you know, our, our daughter has plenty of friends. Uh, but but the thing is, is um, when when the original uh, school system and we talk about this in 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 our book, about uh, socialization and we make a distinction between the two different types of socialization what what we refer to as as homeschoolers is the socialization the teaching of values and virtues and mm -hmm. things like that mm -hmm. and about family and that's the socialization now psychologists uh, talk about a secondary socialization and that's that's to to normalize to a particular system mm -hmm. right even in, in, in the corporate world, okay, which we came out of in, in, in engineering, mm -hmm. there's a corporate culture, yeah. right? Yeah. There's a corporate, corporate socialization mm -hmm. to this is the way this XYZ company does things, yes. right? Mm -hmm. School is the same thing. They, that's not socialization. Yes. That is that is uh, indoctrination. It, it, is an, it is indoctrination. To that culture, whatever they're yes. pushing at that time, because so, they- Go okay. <laughs> so the so the issue of of what about socialization? What people don't understand is that's their system. That's socialization to a system. 
a lot of confusion comes in when they talk about um, socialization as so socializing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Being with your friends is so socializing, right? Socialization that they talk about is not the same thing. It's more like socialism. socialism. Yeah, it's train training somebody to be under a certain system, and yeah. that's and that's where. Um, that's where we, a lot of people have confusion about, about the socialization argument. And that's something else that you talk about in, in, in the book. Like, what about socialization? Well, there's also like, what about grades and testing? Well, what about the state? And what about records? And well, what about if they want to go to college and university? Like, well, well, what about preparation for jobs and, and the real world? And, and, and what, what about disciplining your kids? I mean, it's, it's all, all of the topics that are important and all of the questions that are often unanswered are kind of left to just well figure it out for homeschooling parents. Uh, the book, the book covers right. Yes, yeah. it uh, absolutely, absolutely. Because, for example, like the kids in the institution, they don't they don't get very much guidance at all. They're like they're they're pushed through a, to various curriculums for every subject, and they don't have a chance to practice any critical thinking and not even um, do anything that that is creative. You know something that that is born within themselves no they're they're being told what to do every step of the way and never develop any agency mm -hmm. and hence have no idea where where they want to go and that the path that they sell you at the in the school system is after this because we're preparing you for this you're going to go to university no question about it it's like that's the only path they think that is going to you know, guarantee success, but we're seeing now that that's not a guarantee for success because a lot of kids are floating in university not knowing what they want to major. Even if they major in something, they're not happy with their choice of career. And and they're and they're hundreds of thousand dollars in debt. Yeah, and and they miss it on that self discovery. It's like, what is my talent? What am what am I supposed to be doing as as a, a fulfilled, happy individual? And so, what we're doing here in in, in homeschooling is we're saying, okay. You had that experience with these other people who are not your family, and they don't know how to give you the proper advice. And then you, the kids also bonded with their peers, and they're listening to their advice when they have no life experience. And so we're saying, let's bring the kids home, but be an, be, um, an active um, person in their life. Don't, don't just focus on academics or do the same thing from the school system at your home, but be more than that. Be a guide and a mentor to their children. And hence, do not do things like grades and testing, things that make kids cringe and not want to learn. Right. So you, you got to make it fun and, and interesting so that children want to learn. Right. And the thing is, the thing is, is we, we hear the words, you know, we hear people say, even in public school, well, we have to make things fun for the kids. Well, they're really not good at that. <laughs> you know no, they're good at saying that we oh we, we want to teach critical thinking and we want to be have have the kids have fun to do things but what's happening is is they're not answering some of the basic things uh about what motivates children and what motivates them through different uh levels of their development and how they how they uh um you know come they have specific needs in every stage of development. Right. And so the, the thing is, if you don't meet their needs, you're not going to hit what motivates them in a way. Like what, one of the things in our, in our book, and, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll share this, you know, tidbit with you. The, the idea of answering the question, what's in it for me? And that's in a very important question to mm -hmm. ask. When the child says, why do I need to learn this? Right. If you can't, if you don't have a valid reason or that from the uh, child's perspective, from I would the say child, yes. from the child's well, perspective, well, you have to, <laughs> yeah, wow. that's, that's, that's no way to, that's, that's not a motivation. That's not yeah. tell, answering the question. What's in it for me. Yeah. The other, the other thing they'll say is because we know it'll benefit you. And the kid's like, how we don't see it. <laughs> right. Because the thing is, is, is that, that actualization is so far in front of them that they, they don't see the benefit. OK, so <clears throat> what you have to be able to do is answer the question for your child. What's in it for me? And if you can answer that, then you're ready to teach the subject to your child. Yes, 
and beyond that, like I was saying, it's like we we now know that college is not the only path for success. So by bringing mm. them home and parents being that mentoring guide, you can open up, you know, doorways to many other opportunities that fit your child best, right? Right. Because, you know, there's trade schools, there's apprenticeships, there's entrepreneurship, or they can just get a job because that's part of their learning. They want to try something out. So it gives them that freedom to explore and discover. And hence, that's why they're ahead of their of their peers, because they have gone through all that trials, sure. you know, trial and error. So finding out who I am and where I fit in. It's it's their journey. It's the yeah. child's journey. The 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 um, uh, what did um, uh, their quest their Yes, their quest. What uh, Joseph Campbell, the hero's journey yeah. that your children have their own hero's journey. And when they, when you present the hero's journey to them, they start getting an idea and in internalizing their own journey. And uh, that actually will touch into their motivation because they see themselves as, as having agency, as being able to control their lives uh, and, and their decisions. You're there as the mentor to guide, okay? The old wizard. You know the Obi Wan. That's where that's where you the parents' role is. Yes, and so also we, because there's some kids that are going to be more academically inclined. They're going to want to learn advanced um, subjects, and this is where parents freak out because they think they have to master it first <laughs> to teach it to their kids. <laughs> but we say no, they're they're going. That's something that's going to be out of their own will. But we tell you mm. how to present that properly because you you actually can have that influence in their kids where you where you say academics it's not that bad it's just information this is how we approach it it's not something that should intimidate children at all because right now what's happening is parents are intimidated by academics and that just translates to the children that's right so we, we take the mystery out of that that how to approach academics properly because really learning is is it's part of life right we're not supposed to like schedule our learning time you know i mean maybe we can say i want to look at a youtube video but we're not saying we are bound by this time and this time to learn we're learning all the time whenever we feel like it and so children are the same now you have quite a wealth of knowledge both of you on this in part because of your own journey as as parents but also because you have a community called homeschool life in which you consult with coach advise etc you know give give and receive feedback from and to other homeschooling parents hundreds right. of them uh e e even now you have that and and you also have uh let's say um paid services that that you that you offer so this is a a, a nice nice uh, you know a business here the homeschool homeschool life sure. world as as a lot of authors that i i work with that that, that they want is they have a an existing community existing business and they see the book as being an excellent way to, let's say, monetize their experience, to package it and do something that can allow them to to grow and to scale and so on and so forth. But what what was the what was the case for you? What what was it that led you to believe you needed more than the community, more than the, your your existing business homeschool life? What what why did a book make sense? Well, a book ma made sense because we 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 kept. Uh, uh, going over a lot of the same things every single time in our coaching sessions. Uh, not that we didn't mind at all, because we're really in, enjoying help helping people and helping their their uh, their children get out get out of, of the mindset and and see their light turn on again. Uh, but but as far as writing writing the book, that was like we have to. We, yeah. we, we have to do this because there's information in there that we can just say here, this is your path forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and this is an, the book is an introduction for, for parents to become experts in, uh, in pedagogy, but not just pedagogy in general, but their, their own children and right. how they learn and how, uh, how, people learn in general and how motivation works. And hopefully this is not just homeschooling. This is motivation of ourselves. This is this yes. is, and improve relationships. We talk about improving the parent child relationships, but when you do start doing that, you improve your relationships with your spouse. Okay. Because these are the tools 
uh, in order to find out how people learn, how people uh, interact, and how we uh, um, uh, really connect to people. Yeah, so we, we've been wanting to write this book for the longest time because we saw a need from the community always asking the same questions. It's like same concerns really you know because all they know is their own experience from the schools from the traditional school system right. whether it's private or public it's the same methodology but we thought let's write this book but it became more of a big deal after the pandemic because more people were interested in homeschooling and we saw that they were not really approaching it the right way <laughs> right you know and so a lot of a lot of Parents are like, we don't know how to do this. And, and it's a different story when they're forced to make that decision as opposed to wanting to make that decision where you're more mentally prepared to go through the trials and errors of homeschooling because it is there's a learning curve. There's a big learning curve. And you as you keep doing homeschooling, you get better. We give you the tools to start you on that right path from the beginning. So that's- Well, we also, we, also, uh, we had rewrote a lot of things down. Yes trying to get together and stuff like this uh, to, you know, she had her ideas, I had my ideas, and we're trying to concatenate them together uh, into a, a logical sense. And it's like, you know, we're, <laughs> we're used to writing specifications yeah. as exactly. engineers, but writing a book, uh, a, a nonfiction, you know, uh, a book to help, help people, was uh, almost a foreign, uh, you know, territory for us. Yes. So that so it's an it's an instruction book, but it's it's more that it's it's instructive to free your mind to kind of completely change the way you you think about education and homeschooling and 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 how to treat your kids really to to make them want to learn and be independent. Right. So so anyway, this this is where where you came in, and you provided uh you provided us with a sounding board with with all of our ideas and with the expertise mm -hmm. i mean we don't even do our own taxes okay <laughs> so so to have an expert to look at things and say hey this i think will work this you know and this we'll put this together over here and your entire system was incredibly beneficial to getting all of our information together and uh that's that's why we you know came to you yeah it's it's a challenge to have two two people who have the same goal but may have different you know perspectives and insights and 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 different approaches to put them together in a way that appeals to the audience it, it was a great help and what would have taken us three years to put together you did it in less than a year so it was fantastic what were some of your favorite parts about collaborating and, and, and working together and producing the, the result that we have, which is like a real book that's done, not just a Word document, you know, hey, we have a book, you have a text You're file, right. <laughs> you, have, you actually have a book, right, a real book that people can buy. Yeah. <laughs> and so you, you helped a lot with the flow of things because he, he would be like, let me start or let or then it'll be like, I'll start. And so it's kind of like, who should start? And sometimes he should start and sometimes I should start with an idea and then kind of put develop it and, right. and and put it together and she uh, adriana has her skill sets and i have my own skill sets and uh a lot of times you know it's like well we have differing opinions on how to present this information uh -huh. yes and then you you come in and says hey you know what why don't we do this we'll put it over here in this area and it's like ah oh, that makes sense. I got it. Other, and, yeah, because otherwise we would have argued a little bit longer and who should <laughs> who should have put it on where. Yeah. So maybe, you know, a number of months later, you know, a year later, maybe you'd have a couple of chapters done as opposed to, <laughs> yes. as opposed to the book. Yes. But uh we we yes, it was it was fantastic. Uh, the, the that aspect alone was was worth every penny. Uh, uh so thank you very much for mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. And you have a great, great staff that kind of helps us through the, the rest of it, the planning and, and try to make sure we stay on schedule. So it yeah, was yeah, I have experience. to say my, my favorite part was um, where you when we first began, you had, you know, and I said before we began, began recording, you know, most most authors, most authors, they have 501 book ideas, but only one of them is the right one, the one that's going to be maximally useful to them. Mm -hmm. That's going to, that's going to, let's say, be so exciting that it almost like uh, slaps people in the face a little bit with the the, the exciting promise and we we realized 
the positioning for this book is not necessarily pedagogy for parents, you know, right. a systematized approach to blah, 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 which would be really boring to read, but with a bold claim that you back up, kids don't need school. Right. And then, of course, that implies, well, what do they need instead? Well, what yes. they need is is a, 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 for the parent to understand the planes of development, the approach yes. from beginner towards mastery. And ultimately, that allows children to get a 10 year head start on their peers. You know, most most people nowadays with the, with the traditional education system, even if they have that at home being homeschooled, but it's more like public school at home because of the grading and tests and subjects yes. and the set school day and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, those individuals, they're done with school around age 22, you know, for those who go to college, and it's somewhere between ages 22 and 26, they answer the question, so what do I want to do with my life? <laughs> right. Exactly. Because they haven't been allowed to do that critical thinking and, and discovery. When you're not allowed to do any of that and you're told what to do, you're never going to know what you want to do because you need someone to tell you what to do. Yes, because the, the their entire... Uh, K through 12 experience has been, you're going to do what we say you're yes. going to do. And you, you can't, uh, you, you have to have permission to go to the bathroom yeah, or, or walk the halls or, or, or anything else. You will do what we say. Yes. And you have so, to, and you have to write this essay. Yeah. And then they say, the and, and so the kids, as far as they're learning, the only thing that they they say is, is this going to be on the test? It's, yes. It becomes a drag. It, it, it's not learning anymore. It's a chore. And it's like, if you think of learning as a chore, you never want to do it. I mean, yeah. and, and before before kindergarten, the, the, the children were like, like immersed in learning. You know, everything around them was was uh, amazing. And, and uh, being able to go to sleep at night was was a chore because they just wanted to stay up and learn more. And, yes. now, and now the the when they go into public school and to the Prussian system, their light of of that light turns out in their eyes. Yes. And they're they're just being dutiful. Yeah. Right? They're just uh it's almost like zombies that don't have to think and just go through the motions and yep. And follow the rules, right? Because the thing is, if you don't follow the rules, you get punished for them. And that's what we talk. We talk about how to, uh, about motivation and about agency mm -hmm. and about the, those very key things so that the parents understand, am I crushing my child's agency? Yes. Right. Am I using authority as a hammer? Mm -hmm. OK, because. We know we know the children, if they're really interested in something, there's no stopping yeah. them from learning it. Right. Complex video games and and rules and stuff like this. They know intricately. Everything about the video game. Mm -hmm. And how did they learn it? Were, did they give in tests? Did they have to study? Write you essays. Know? You know, write essays. Yeah. Rubrics. Rubrics. Okay. No, they, they did it and they did it quickly. And this is why getting 10 years ahead isn't, is a possible because they're self-learning, yes. they're self-motivated and we show that path, how to get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, and the, the specifically that, that 10 years is like everybody, all these other people are, are for, are forced to learn specific things and forced to study and forced to test and forced to get graded. And then they're, they're given, here's what you must learn. And then from 22 to 26, it's like, okay, now, for the first time in your life, I mean, for the first time since you're between like like three, four, five years old, for the first time in 20 plus years, you you can now do anything you want. But the problem is now you have like, I have to get a real job and you have to pay yeah. bills that have no skills because you never were allowed to pursue opportunities to develop what it is you are naturally good at. You're always yes. forced to take, you know, calculus or English lit or whatever, and then foreign language. So then you go and study that and get a test, but actually can't speak the language, but at least you could pass the test, which is a useful metaphor for, it's like fractal, right? That's how all Prussian school system learning is. You could pass the test and get an A plus, but you can't do it in the real world is as often foreign languages is, is learned in schools and yeah. everything is like that. Yes. So when you become 22, 26, that age group, you can't do anything. So you have to get low paying jobs, even if you have a master's degree, you know, right. it, it exactly. sucks. So what you're saying is skip that ages 12 to 16. Yeah. That's when you can raise a, a young adult in those years for where they're finally ready to maybe 
earn their own money for the first time through their own little business enterprise or pursue what it is that they're interested in. And then maybe as they get 14, 15, 16, 17, if academia is in their future, then it will be because they're choosing it. It will be because the skills exactly. they want to develop are best done in a university right. and not like liberal arts, but let's say engineering yes. or a medical school or, or or something like that, because it's it's what they actually want to do with their lives. And they already right. have the foundational skills, right? Yeah, That's and correct. they'll be more mature enough to, to say, I know why I'm going to university. I know what I'm going to pursue. And I know that it's going to cost me money. They have a a, 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 a good perception of life. And there's like, I know I'm going to do this. So they're going to apply themselves, but they also know how to, you know, this information, I don't really need. I don't care about it. It's like, it's not useful to me. And I, I know that this, in this class, I'm really excited about, and I really want to make the most of it. So they're going to be more consci conscientious about how to make the most out of university because they've made that decision for themselves. So, so go buy the book, folks. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely a, a radical new approach to, to how you think about education, how to basically treat your kids, how to bring them home and, and have a, a, a wonderful relationship with and them. The, the path is easy to follow. The path uh, from if your child wants to go to university uh, and, and, and learn specific things, the book tells you how to get there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a, about how, what to what to collect as far as records and everything else like this, those those are very basic things yes. that a lot of parents are like, I have no idea how to do this uh, because you know when they went to to school, it was done for them. Here, fill out this form. Here, do this. Here, sign this sign this um, uh, this loan agreement to, for for thousands of dollars for college. And have you decided on a major? No. Okay. Well, don't worry about it. It'll come to you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and thousands of dollars are spent yeah and not much to show for and it's really sad it's, it's a really sad reality and and we're hoping that with our book a lot of more parents are going to change their mindset and realize hey you know what it's i understand what they're saying about you know information what information is useful and what and what isn't and how to raise their kids so that they know what they want for their future right and speaking you know, a future. How have you already and in what ways will you be leveraging this book now that it exists to grow the homeschool life community and, and take on more clients and do all the, the exciting stuff? Well, we have some things that we can't talk about yet, but it's it's Ooh. and it's really, really big uh, and it'll help parents tremendously uh, in, in in doing their, their homeschooling. Homeschooling is an emerging market. Mm -hmm, OK, mm -hmm. right now there's there's uh, the numbers are that we have 10 percent of the K through 12 population. 10 percent is huge. And they yeah. uh, and that's even more than what we say in our uh, in the book, because it, it has moved that far ahead. And so we we have plans. Uh, we have a, we have a new website and we're just doing the finishing touches on it. We have a, a membership site uh, for members uh, and a forum with courses and with uh, our news articles and everything else like that, yes. that will be in there. But the main thing is it's gonna be, is we're gonna be building our coursework for parents to, to, to go through these short uh, courses. Uh, and and they're, they're not like hour long courses where they have to sit and, because they're parents, they, they're busy. Yes. So five, 10 minutes, they go through their, uh, the courses and um, it really helps them with their the homeschooling yes because the thing is there's a lot that that parents need to educate themselves on to become experts obviously and because it's it's changing your mindset completely it takes a while to change that mindset so the, the thing that i always say is the control mind takes a long time to free itself and it's true because we've been in this old system this old infrastructure of going into school and we think that this is the only way that we should learn and so Yes, this book is a great introductory um, for how to change your mindset, but with our, our website, we're going to continue to, to teach you how to break, truly break away from that old mindset of, of what education used to be. So right, we will right. transform you, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, the, and the book is like a, a, an excellent way to go from being curious about this to, frankly, becoming a, a paying customer, bought, bought right. into this, and yes. then 
access other other things and that's what i like about this sort of business model that you're you're building is there's ways to engage with you one-on-one -on -one and co compensate you that way there's there's ways to go deeper but the but the book is that is that 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 perfect transition to go from a free information seeker from your perspective right you know, kind of just a fan or follower or member but to go from now they're a paid customer and they can adopt your worldview and, and and now make it their own. The understanding that the best way to teach is is, right. is through the, the, the influence of a positive relationship, and then helping them learn mastery and what they're interested in the most, um, rather than follow the Prussian model. And then ways that they can go deeper, they can purchase other courses and, and work with you directly, uh, one on one. And after the, after somebody purchases the book and they have further questions and they're, they're really specific, they can they can uh, schedule a coaching session with us, mm -hmm. and we could go through everything, every, all the questions that they may have. And, uh, you know, we're available uh, for that. Um, but definitely the, the book is book is your primer. The book is is where you uh, the aha moments are mm -hmm. of, of how to homeschool. And and when I say homeschool, it's an umbrella term, which yes. includes every single different style of homeschooling, unschooling and Charlotte Mason and whatever system it works for you. OK, this our plan is not a, is not a, um, a style. It is, it is the, the deconstructed essence of how children learn, mm -hmm. how people learn, how, and, and motivation. And because the motivation actually helps uh, in business as well. You know, we, that's, that's been the golden key of, of, uh, motivate of business motivation um trying trying to find out what motivates employees right mm -hmm. and so <clears throat> we delve into that so what you learn in the book not just helps with homeschooling and how we we learn motivation and agency um as we're developing but what do we develop into and what motivates us that uh, that way? Because as we're adults, if we've never been given agency and ability to to um, to to guide our own ship, we're not going to be motivated at all. Right. We're going to be waiting for people to tell us what to do. Right. And then somebody years later working in a corporate job that always been told what to do, they're miserable because they have no agency. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is a gift for your children. It is, it is a gift. And that, and that agency that they're gonna learn can only be attained by giving them freedom. And so our approach is about obtaining that freedom and to give parents that confidence and courage to take on that freedom. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty exciting stuff. And if you want to want to give your kids that freedom, check out uh, "Kids Don't Need School" by Jonathan and Adriana Prescott. Available on 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 Amazon. Uh, I'm I'm super stoked for you all and and the future that this book is able to unlock for you all now and all the dreams and ambitions that you have. It's it's thank, fantastic. Thank you stuff. so much. Yes, I appreciate. Thank you. thank you for having us on. Yes. Absolutely. Thanks. Take care. Okay.